Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode for Agent Force for Everyone. In this episode, we are going to learn how to display a input text field in Agent. For example, I have this Agent Force default and if I ask my agent show me all the books, then this agent is going to query all the books from the system and display it here. Now we have render a lightning web component instead of a simple plain text. So this lightning web component we have created in our previous episode. So you can definitely go and watch where I explain a step by step process to create a lightning web component and also how to create custom lightning types in order to rendering the lightning web component. Now in this episode we are going to display we are going to see how to display the input field such as text and in further episodes we are going to display multiple type of fields such as date date time pick list URL boolean etc. So let's focus on the text input field. Now I want to change that whenever a user asks to display all the books, I would like the agent to display a input field first and ask the prompt from the user, please enter the book name and based on the an answer, the agent will find the relevant book. So how do we do that? So we have to create a lightning web component and then we have to create a custom lightning type and in our agent, we are going to change the render option and then we will see our input field. I am going to do everything step by step so you guys can understand how to display an input field, any type of input field you can display. So let's start creating our lightning web component. So I am in my VS code where I'm going to create a new lightning web component. So I'm going to name it as let's say text input component. So in this I am going to write a text field and then I'm going to write some JavaScript code. So to save some time I have already written the code and I'm going to copy and paste, but I can explain each and everything. So this is going to be my HTML. Let me change this. I actually don't need any title and I will remove this. And this is lightning input where the label will say enter book name. And this is the name we are defining. The value is coming into book name. And whenever we type something, it is going to call this JavaScript method. And we also have a read only. Now this plays a very important role, which you will understand in a very short period of time. And the type of this input is text. So that's only we need in our HTML file. Now let's look at what we need in our JavaScript. So let me copy a small piece of code for JavaScript. And let me remove this. Yeah. So let's understand this JavaScript. So we, we have imported this lightning element, which is by default, and then we have Two methods which is setting the read only and getting the read only so this is basically whenever you are type you are going to type something into the text field by default the read only will be false so that you will be able to see the fields editable and then you have the option to write something or to select some data from the field but you will also receive a submit button from the agent once you click the submit button then the agent will pass the read only to true that means you won't be able to make any further changes once you hit the submit button we will see this thing in action then we have two methods which is set value and get value. Now, whenever you will get the data here, you will get the data in the value field. So that we are going to set in underscore value. And whenever you need to fetch the value, you will use the get method. And like in the connected callback, I am calling this dot value. And anywhere you will see I am calling this dot value. That means I'm getting the value from the value variable. Then we have the connected callback where I'm checking if I have the value, then I'm fetching the book name and assigning it to a book name variable. Then this is going to be a handle input change, which is going to call once user type anything into the text box. As soon as they type, this method gets called and then we are fetching the value from event.target.value, which we are assigning to the book name variable. Once we assign the value to the book name variable, we are going to dispatch an event, which is value change. Now this does not needs to be changed. This should be as it is like as it is. So you will call this, you will expose this event, it will go to the parent, that means to the agent force, and then agent force will receive the book name and the value, and then it, will, it is going to pa pass further for any calculations or for any logic performance. So I hope you understand this LWC. Then we have to make some changes into the XML. Let me copy that as well. So this is going to be my XML where I have to in, uh, include a agent force input tag. And we can also make some changes to the CSS, but which is not required for this episode. You can definitely design your LWC and put any CSS you want. Then let me deploy this component. So now my component is successfully deployed. Now the next step is I need to create a custom lightning type in order to render the component into agent. So for that, I am going to a folder lightning types. If you don't have this folder, if you are working on custom lightning types for the very first time, you need to create this folder lightning types. Let me save this code again and let me deploy this again. 
yes so i already have one custom lightning type created which i have created in the previous episode to render the lwc component now i am going to create a, another one to render my input field so i am using the name as let's say so this is going to be enter book name right uh, so book name input so once we have created this lightning type we have to create another folder inside which is lightning desktop gen ai so i'm going to copy the name and then putting my cursor in the book name input and then creating another folder called lightning desktop gen ai then we need a file inside this folder which is editor.json now we need one file inside lightning desktop gen ai either editor.json or render.json if you don't want to collect information from the user then you can simply use renderer.json where you can simply display your lwc just like we have displayed all the books here so this is coming from renderer.json here editor is not required because we are not collecting any information from the user now and because i need to collect the book name from the user so i need to use editor.json so that my lwc will work as a editable format then we need a, another file but inside the book name input which is schema.json one second this schema.json is going to hold the value which is coming from the apex or which is coming from the flow that you need to pass it to your lwc to perform further calculations so if you look at the schema.json this is going to be the schema.json which i have created for previous one i can copy the same and i can paste it here and then i will change here let's say book name input i will use the same in the description and this also needs to be changed i will tell you where this value is coming from so let me save this first and then i am going to my agent let me close my agent first and i am going to the default agent open in builder and this is my topic book retrieval and if, let me deactivate this to make the changes and if i go to this action let me open this in a new detail page so yeah i need to make so basically if you look at this topic this topic says present the list of books in a clear and organized manner including relevant details such as title author and publication date when a user requests to fetch all books query the system to complete list of books we are going to change some instructions because we don't want to display all the books instead we want to display a input text field but before that let's look at our action so this action says pass the book name if user has provided right now this is optional we need to make it mandatory now and then display all the books to the ui so now this data is coming from an apex class which is called book retrieval controller so let's go to that so this is a book retrieval controller which we have written in our previous episode which is basically querying all the books and then preparing a constructor and then passing it to the agent and this is the book request which we are receiving from the agent right now i am receiving as a book name as a string but this is optional we have not provided any book name and we saw that the results are up here but now we need to make this mandatory so for that i need to make some changes here because i need to create a, another class as a json key so i'm going to create a class which is book filter and here i can name it as filters and i'm going to create this class here and a invocable variable public string book name so let me explain this again so we have this request which is coming from the agent inside this request i have a filter class which i can accept multiple filters from the user and we have to create a separate class which is a mandatory because uh, we need to give the lightning type into our schema.json right now the lightning type is nothing and we just see a text type that's why we have to create this filter now if we are going to refresh this or maybe we need to create a new one because i still don't see my lightning type here which is fine i am going to create a new action now new agent action apex invocable uh, retrieve books and let's say retrieve books uh, new okay i don't see this uh, properly but that's fine in the loading i can say uh, loading books uh, filter pass the book name given by the user require input and this is what i'm saying this is basically the input rendering which we need to set in our schema.json because we need to tell that this is the filter you need to pass it to the apex which we have written and then instructions uh, display all the books to the ui 
and show in conversation and we will use available books as a output rendering because available books is the lwc component which we have created already and i'll finish it so let me open this again because the ui was not correct there was some salesforce issue so let me open the retrieve books again so this is the agent action we just created where it is going to reference this apex class and uh, this is the filter we just created in our apex which is this this is the filter which has a book name variable then we are saying pass the book name given by the user and this is going to input rendering so we need to copy this and we need to paste it here in the lightning type that means we are telling this lightning type that you are going to receive this filter and then you need to pass the filter to lwc so let's say once the schema receives the filter how they are going to pass this to lwc that is with the help of editor.json so now we need to make the changes make the changes to the editor and referencing our newly created lwc so let me copy some editor data which is again very a small piece of code we have to write and here we need to pass our lwc name so the lwc we just created is text input component so i will name it as it is text input component that's it save and save this and i'm going to deploy this custom lightning type for book name input cool it is currently deployed uh, if i edit we don't see it here because we need to refresh this page but before uh, before i show you this here let me go to actually the lightning types process and you will see this here book name input which we just created now let me go and refresh this page so i can reference my lwc instead of the filter so if i edit i can see two options one is book name input which is my lwc which is going to display the text input field or book filter which is going to display nothing but taking the taking the data from the user and passing it to the apex so we can do both ways now i want the lwc to be display and here i want this lwc to be display as output save that's it i will go back to my agent and make a good refresh and then i'm going to ask the same question again but i have to make some changes to the instructions uh okay so we are going to delete this topic and then we are going to change it so let me copy the topics one second actually the instructions so the first instruction will be once the user has provided the book name then call the action we don't need to write any action name then call the action passing the book name and fetch the books the another instruction which we are going to have is when a user asks to show all the books make sure you take the book name filter from the user from the lwc which is rendering uh, through the input so i'm going to save it and i will do a refresh and now i'm going to ask show me all the books but before i do that we have to make some changes to our uh, apex as well because right now the apex is showing all the books so we need to add a where close then the apex is going to retrieve the books which we are passing the book name so let me do that so i'm in my dev console and as you can see on line number 11 the query says uh, select id name etc from book that means there is no filter available at the moment so i'm going to add a filter where name equals to so the book name is coming into this request and we are going to get the zeroth element dot uh, filters dot this book name so in this filter we are going to hold the name of the book okay there is a missing uh, i think we messed up yeah that's it so it's now saved okay so let me go and do a refresh and let's see and let me show you all the books which we have so that we can just so let's say let's first ask this question show me all the books yeah so we we can now see our lwc so if i go back to my lwc which is text input component and you can see enter book name is the input field which i can successfully display in the agent we can make some changes let's say i will remove this book and then i will remove the name and then i will just say enter book and deploy done and if we do a refresh and ask the same thing again show me all the books so it is still showing name let me do a whole page refresh show me all the books okay it is still showing this deploy yeah refresh refresh this could be something related to the caching show me all the books okay let me do uh, inspect and 
empty cache and hard reload. Something is not right. Yep, it's now loaded. And let's try again. Show me all the books. Now I can see enter book and then the name has gone. So it is definitely related to the caching. You need to make sure you remove your caching and then you make sure you do hard reload in order to see your reflected changes. So now I am going to enter the name of the book. So let's say we have a couple of books and if I just copy educated and if I just paste here and submit. So what will happen when we click submit? So before I hit, let me go back to the code. Uh, if you notice, we have not defined any button here. This submit button is given by the agent force itself. That means whenever you click submit, the agent force will receive the data from this LWC with the help of this dispatch event. So as soon as you hit submit, this agent force function will receive this event and this is going to pass the book name. Also, when you click submit, the agent force is going to call this method and going to set the read only variable to true. That means whatever the input field we have defined and added read only is going to be disabled and the user will not be able to update or write anything on the input field. So let's see this in real. So if I click submit, so you see the text input is now read only. The button is also disabled and then I can see the book is now up here and I got just the one book because it has educated the name is matched and we successfully got the book written. Now let's try again. Show me all the book. This time we will find out some different book. So let me copy this Daisy Jones and the six. So now this time I am not going to pass the entire book instead. I'm just typing half. So now the expectation is the agent should not return any book because we have equals to here. If we use maybe contains or like, then it will fetch the books related to the names matched. But as we have equals to, so the expectation is no books should appear. Let's hit submit. So it says no books found and then it gives the input again so that the user can try again. So now I'm going to give the complete name and hit submit. And this time I successfully got the particular book. So that's how you can design your agent with lightning web component and then you can display whatever you want into your agent force default. So this is how you can, you know, uh, use the input uh, field and then take the most advantage and then the user will type the correct thing and then you will, your agent will able to fetch the right thing for your user. So if you like the video, please uh, do like and subscribe. If you have any questions, any queries, feel free to drop a comment or text me on LinkedIn. And I'll see you in the next episode with some another use case. Till then, thanks for watching and take care.